so today I'm filming a very exciting video for you guys. I'm going to be filming a full face of first impressions on this look right here. Everything I'm going to be using I did pick up in my last Sephora, my two Sephora VIB Rouge Sale Haul. And then I also have some stuff from the NYX store that I want to try out. I also have lashes, drugstore items, and very high-end items as well. And yeah, I have a lot of variety. If you want to know which um, items I'm going to be using, I'll have them listed down in the description as well. Just in case you are looking for a specific first impression. But yeah, if y'all want to see this full face of first impressions, then go ahead and keep watching. And we'll test these babies out. Okay guys, so I have nothing on my face, but today I'm super excited to film this video, so I'm going to go ahead and get started. I have a whole bunch of stuff that I want to try out right in front of me. So the first thing I'm going to be trying out is the Coconut Skin Smoothing Priming Moisturizer. So basically this is supposed to be a hydrator and a primer all in one, like a moisturizer and a primer. This is what it looks like. And I have this miniature one that I got from a point perk from Sephora and I've been hearing a lot of YouTubers rave about this or purchase it so I've just been hearing a lot of things about it so I really wanted to try it out and I actually I already have an eyelash falling out um I actually have already tried this and I have not been liking it unfortunately it just doesn't mix well with my skincare and it balls up and it creates like these weird like um patches my skin I don't know how to explain it but today I didn't wear any moisturizer or any serums on my face just to try it out one more time to see if that's maybe why maybe you're not supposed to mix it with things I don't know um but this is from first aid beauty and so I'm gonna go ahead and try it out and if it doesn't go well I'll take it off but um this is the texture of the product so it smells really good um, one of the reasons I wanted to buy it is because people were saying that it smelled like coconut, which it doesn't. I don't know why people were saying that, but it smells like fruity and like florally, florally. <laughs> um, it smells good, but it doesn't smell like coconut, which I was kind of disappointed with. So I'm going to put that on and see what we get. Okay, that is crazy. It didn't ball up at all. So if you do want to use this product, it's like a nice step to where you don't have to put your moisturizer on or a primer. You just like do it all in one. But what does suck about it is that you cannot mix it with any of your skincare. So if you want to wear a serum or anything that day, you cannot put it on because it would just like ball up if you know what I'm saying. But yeah, that's, so that is the First Aid Beauty Primer that I tried out. Now I'm going to go ahead and fill in any pores with my Smashbox Photo Finish Primer per usual. And we'll see how that mixes with it because I'm scared it's going to ball up. But I'm just going to apply this to my T-zone really quick. Yeah, it's starting to ball up. Yeah, let me show you guys. Okay, so I don't know if you can tell, but look, my Smashbox Primer is balling up and it like flakes away and whenever I have my foundation on it just messes with me I don't like that so this is not good to mix with any other primers or skincare so if you truly want to use this primer the first aid beauty one I would not mix it with anything besides like your foundation of course so I don't know how I feel about it I'm just gonna have to keep playing around with it so far I kind of don't like it. Okay, so the next thing I'm super excited about, I actually tried one of these, and I got it from my last haul. If you didn't see it, I'll have it linked down below, but I got the shade Sunlight in that haul, and I tried it out by myself just to, like, because I was going to do a review over it, and that color was just too dark for me, so I ended up going back and returning it for this shade, and this is the shade um, Moonlight. It's a little bit lighter than that one. And with the shade Sunlight, it was just a little bit too golden. So when I put it on, it looked dark at first. Don't get me wrong. It looks dark, but once you blend it out, it does get lighter. But I still, like, when I hit some of the light, it looked like I had gold, like a gold stripe on my face. So it was just too dark. So I'm just going to go ahead and try this color out today. And how I want to try it first is by mixing it with the foundation. And so I'm going to be using a liquid. I haven't used this on my channel in a while. So this is my Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay in Place Makeup. And I'm going to try mixing it with this. And I'm super excited to try it out. Ooh, I love highlight. And so it comes in this little dropper. And it's glass. So you got to be careful you don't drop it or anything. And that is what it looks like. Let me go ahead and swatch it to show you what it looks like by itself. It's so pretty. That is what the color looks like. 
and it dries super fast like it's already drying on my hand do is pour this foundation on my hand hopefully it still matches me I haven't used it in forever I'm gonna take actually some of the foundation and put it on my nose first just because my nose gets too oily to have highlight on it so I don't really want to put highlight on my nose so I'm just gonna put some on my nose really quick okay so I'm gonna start off with two drops Oh, those were kind of big drops. And then I'm going to mix it together on my hand and see how this goes. And the other color, I actually tried mixing it with my foundation as well. And it turned my foundation orange. And I don't know if it's just because it has like that bronzy undertone. But yeah, it was bad. I had to return it. And then I'm going to apply this to my face and see how this goes. And I'm going to be using my beauty blender just to make it easy on myself. Oh yeah, you could tell I added some glow in there. My Estee Lauder just has so much good coverage. Okay, so this is what it looks like. It gave me a really nice glow. It didn't mix with my, like it didn't separate with my foundation, which is good. It just blended right in. And so far I'm liking it. It didn't alter the color or anything. So I like it. I'm going to try it again after I have all my powders and everything just on the tops of my cheekbones. And the reason I don't want to do that now is because I did try that out with the other one. And it just like once I put my powders and everything on, it just covered it. So I'm just going to do it after. And so moving on. So the next thing I'm going to try out is this NYX contouring palette and it looks like this and it's in the shade Light Clear and I picked this up at the NYX store that we have here in Dallas. I was so excited. I was in the mall and I saw the big NYX sign and I was like, oh my god, we have a NYX store and I got super excited. Here's my little bag from the store. It was pretty awesome in there and it felt like a MAC. Like they had it set up like a Mac store to where they had the mirrors in the middle and the makeup chairs. It just looked really awesome and professional. So um, I already tried out a few shades from this contouring palette. I tried out this little peachy shade under my eyes which I really liked. I still have to play around how to put concealer on top. And then I also tried um, this yellow shade on blemishes just to cover them up. And I didn't really like it so much for blemishes, like I felt like it was a little too drying on them. Um, but today, for the sake of the video, I'm going to try something new and I'm going to try these two contour shades. I don't know. I think I'm going to try the darker one. As you can see, I haven't touched it yet and I'm going to try contouring with it. So I'm super excited. So I'm going to use this little Real Techniques brush to take it out of the pan. Hopefully it blends well and I'm just going to dip into this dark shade. Okay, that's not going to work. It is on the thick side for a concealer. I'm just going to place it on like that with that brush and then I'm going to go in with this Real Techniques blending brush and blend it out. Kind of blend it away. I'm not sure which brush to use. Hmm. I'm going to try using... Oh wait, should I try this one? I don't know. Yeah, okay. I'm going to try using this contouring brush from e.l.f. See if that's any better. That is much better. Okay, and to blend out those edges, I'm going to just take this brush and kind of blend it out. Okay, I'm going to try some on my nose. <laughs> I'm going to try this smaller brush. Whew, that was a lot. I feel like it made the dry patches on my nose stand out because it put color on them. I don't know, we'll probably cover that with some concealer. Hmm, I don't know what I think about it. I mean, it's really good concealer, like it's really thick. It just is kind of hard to blend because if you blend it too much, it'll disappear. So yeah, that is the NYX um, Conceal and Contour Palette. Okay, the next first impression I'm super excited to try out. This is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. And yes, I'm pretty the only beauty guru in the world that hasn't tried this yet. 
so I'm super excited to try it out. And I got it in the shade Light 2 Vanilla, so let's see how this baby works. I feel like the wand is so small compared to my um, Tarte Shape Tape. I'm just so used to that one. This color is actually not too light. It's a little bit darker and on the yellower side. I mean, it's still pink tone, but it's a little bit more yellow than my Tarte Shape Tape, which I'm completely okay with because my Tarte Shape Tape is way too light on me. But yeah, put some in my nose. I'm shaking. I have this like big dry patch right here from an acne scar. I feel like my face looks super muddy now. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna blend that in using my beauty blender and it is damp. Ooh, that's some good coverage. Yeah, that has really good coverage. I like it. I mean, I'm liking it so far. The color is a good match. It blends well into my foundation. Whoa, that was a lot on my nose. I've pretty much covered up that contour that I did, which I'm not mad at because it looked kind of weird. I know it looks super light right now, but we're gonna go back in with like a yellow powder and that should help. Okay, next I'm gonna go in with something I've already been using, but I got it in that haul, my VIB sale haul, and I've been loving this. This is the Marc Jacobs Contouring Kit in the shade 40 Mirage Filter, and I've been using this baby every single day. That is what it looks like. It has a cool tone contour shade and a yellow banana shade, and at first I thought I didn't like the yellow shade just because I felt like it was too dark, but then again, my concealer's always a little bit tad bit light, and so that really helps neutralize it and make it like blend in with my face. It's amazing. Um, but I found with the um, yellow shade that you have to really build it on your brush because if you just do a light layer of this um, powder, it will not help your concealer at all and you'll end up creasing. So I have to like really load on my brush before I set it. And so I'm gonna do one eye and then I'll show you the difference on what it does to my eyes. So I like really load my brush up with this product. Then I'll just go in with my concealer, make sure I got all my creases. Or not my concealer, my beauty blender and make sure I got all my creases. It doesn't feel completely set. The Tarte Shape Tape um, sets really fast, like it dries completely really fast. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna set this. I feel like I'm making the weirdest face right now. And I have those veins under my eyes and I feel like the yellow just helps neutralize that. Um, so let me zoom you in and show you the difference. Okay, so this is the eye I set obviously and this is the eye that I didn't. As you can see, it just kind of makes it more yellow and less pink, which I like because it goes better with my skin. And it looks so silky soft. I mean, my veins are still kind of peeking out, but just ignore those. And it just really sets it in place and I've been loving it. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and do my other eye and set that really quick. So I don't have a new baking powder, so I'm just going to go back in with my Laura Mercier um, translucent powder and I'm just going to go ahead and bake my face like I usually would. Okay, while that's baking, I'm going to go ahead and start working on my eyes. I don't have any new eyeshadow to try except for one, and this is the NYX, um, can you tell I went to the NYX store? <laughs> um, but this is the NYX Prismatic Eyeshadow in the shade Jade, or Jaded. And it's this really pretty mermaid-esque color. I don't know if you can tell. I already swatched it. So pretty. So I'm going to be trying this out today. But first, before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and put my transition shade and my crease shade really quick. Okay, now for the star of the show, I'm going to take this color on a flat brush like this and I'm just gonna pack this all over the lid oh this is super buttery look how buttery it is it like fell apart make sure to tap that off and I'm gonna place this all over the lid so 
So I'm not getting that much color payoff from the brush. So I'm gonna try taking it with my finger and putting it on that way. Yes, it's way better and pigmented that way, but I do have fallout now. So I'm just gonna brush that away. So, so far, so good. Um, these NYX eyeshadows remind me a lot of the Makeup Geek foiled eyeshadows. Like they are buttery to where they kind of crumble and they also are really like blendable and pigmented. So yeah, this is a really good find. Okay guys, I went ahead and finished my eye makeup just to get that out of the way. I am going to be trying some eyelashes here in a minute that I picked up, but first we're going to move back onto the face just because I've been baking for a while now. And I'm going to go ahead and just blend the rest of that bake into my face. And I don't know if y'all could tell, but I can. I have no more glow on my face like I'm completely matte so the uh, cover effects custom hanser drops don't really shine through powder if you know what I'm saying and I didn't really even put powder on here but to me it doesn't seem glowy anymore which kind of sucks like I look matte so now I'm going to move back on to the Marc Jacobs palette and I'm going to be using the contouring shade this time and I love this shade it's so pigmented and it's so great to contour with and I'm going to take that on a fan brush and just contour my cheeks with that. I don't need it that much today just because I tried out that NYX contouring shade and it was really dark. But I'm just going to use this to kind of set on top. Then I like to take the yellow powder once again on the same brush as before and just clean up the contour shade. I feel like... On camera, my contour is looking super strong, but in real life, it doesn't look that harsh. So I don't know what's going on. I'm just going to blend it out a little bit. Okay, for blush, I'm going to go ahead and use a matte blush just because we're going to try out some highlight. And I want to see how it is on its own. So I'm going to be taking this Tarte Blush Palette and I'm going to take the shade Prim, which is a shade in the middle. It's like the only shade I use from this palette. And I'm going to apply that to my cheeks. Okay, to bring some glow back into our life, I'm going to go ahead and take the Cover FX once again. And I'm going to try to put this on my cheekbones and try to blend it in before it dries. But like I said, it dries really fast. And hopefully it will blend okay on top of the powder. So uh, I'm going to go for it. I'm just going to put some drops right here and I'm going to blend it in with my finger. So it's blending in really nicely with my finger. To me it just looks like a white like kind of glow. It doesn't really have any pink. Well I guess it has like a little bit of pink but it doesn't look as gold as like when you swatch it. I don't know. I mean, it blended out really nice for a cream product or a liquid product on powder. Like, it blended out really good. It looks really pretty. I am very impressed with this. It doesn't exaggerate, like, your texture. It just looks really smooth. I don't know if y'all could tell. I like it. I'm going to try some on my Cupid's bow. Ooh, that's pigmented it starts off really pigmented but once you blend it it blends out really nice I feel like I'm a little scientist right now okay guys so the next thing I'm gonna try out for you guys I've already been testing out and it is my new Dior Air Flash, or not Air Flash, Dior Nude Air Luminizer in 001. And I know you guys told me in my haul that I should keep the pinkier one, which was 002. This is what it looks like. Oh my god, I can't get over how beautiful this is. But the reason I ended up keeping the gold one was because I was ordering this. super excited I got the Anastasia Nico Guerrero glow kit and if you haven't seen this before um, a lot of the shades in here are more pinky highlights 
And so I thought I would go ahead and keep the gold one and then use the pinkier highlights in the Anastasia Nicole Guerrero palette. But I am regretting not keeping the pinkier one from Dior and I'm gonna pick it up next time I'm at Sephora anyways or I might wait until the next VIB sale haul but either way I love both of them so today I'm gonna be showing you guys 001 and how it looks on the skin and I just can't get over how this embroidery or whatever it's called looks so cute um, but I'm gonna be using my Real Techniques um, setting brush I believe and this stuff is so pigmented on its own I have that cover effects highlight on, but this is, trust me, it's pigmented on its own. But today I'm going to be testing it for you guys over this highlight. Oh my god, it's like a match made in heaven. Do you guys see that? I hope that this is on camera. This shit. $57 most expensive highlight that whole Nic Nicole Guerrero palette was only 40 bucks um, the reason I'm not testing that one out in this video is because I'm gonna do a full first impressions on that palette let me know if you guys think that's a good idea but I'm gonna be doing swatches and everything I can't wait probably do that tomorrow but today I decided to use this one and the cover effects one just to show you this Oh my god, that glow though, it's so beautiful. I feel like you could hear every freaking plane that passes by. <gasps> Speaking of plane guys, me and Christian are going to San Francisco next week. I'm super excited, I cannot wait. I've always wanted to go, that's like his favorite place, like ever. And I really wanted to see it, and so we're going, and uh, let me know if y'all want me to vlog it. But I am planning on doing like a fashion lookbook there. I cannot wait. I'm so excited. Um, but anyways, I'm going to be taking my Urban Decay D Slick Setting Spray, and I'm just going to set that in place. I don't know if y'all can see that glow, but it's really, really pretty. I'm glad I kept it. And so I'm just going to spray this all over my face. Okay, while that's setting in my uh, skin, I'm going to go ahead and do my brows off camera just to save some time. And I'm going to be using my Anastasia Brow Wiz. Okay, guys, the next thing that I'm going to try out, I picked out some Ardell lashes that I wanted to try out. And I got the Wispies, just the regular Wispies. And then I picked up these ones, which are the 600. And I like these because they're more wispier, like... Or they're wispy, but then they're long in the center right here. And I thought that looked so pretty and unique. And so I'm going to try these ones out today. Just because I've already tried the regular wispies. And so I'm going to pop these babies on. Guys, I suck at putting lashes on. I feel like I can never get them close to my lashes. So that is what the lashes look like. I like how the band is really thin so it's easier to apply. Okay, the next thing I'm gonna try out for you guys is my Marc Jacobs lip gloss in the color Sugar Sugar. I showed this in that same haul and I've already been trying this out just because I couldn't wait and it's an amazing formula. I love the way it makes my lips feel. My lips feel, it's not sticky or anything and I love the color. It goes with so many lipsticks. I've wore it with MAC Honey Love, MAC Cream Cup, and on its own. Today I'm going to be using it um, without a lipstick and just on its own, but I am going to use a lip liner and what I've been liking to pair it with is my NYX Peekaboo Neutral Lip Liner and that is what it looks like. Um, I actually bought another one of these already when I went to the NYX store. See, here's my brand new one. Um, but yeah, I love this lip liner. So I'm going to go ahead and line my lips and then apply the lip gloss so you could see. It smells so good. It has like a hint of mint in it, but it's not like a really strong mint. And then I'm just going to apply that. So excuse that. How did I get lip gloss on my chin? How is that even possible? So those are the lips done. <laughs> okay guys, I'm going to go ahead and finish my hair and I'll be right back. 
Okay guys, so I am back and this is the finished look. Um, I'll probably insert some slow motion clips right now so you can see everything together. But overall, I am done with this full face of first impressions. I hope that y'all enjoyed it. Um, I really enjoyed filming it. It was so much fun talking to you guys. I pretty much liked everything except for maybe the primer. I still have to like test this baby out. I don't know, like it's good on its own. It just doesn't mix with things very good and I don't know if it's maybe because it doesn't mix with silicone because I know the Smashbox photo finish primer has silicone and maybe that's why it's just like a not a match made in heaven with silicone products so I just have to keep testing it out but everything else I loved and I thought it was so much fun filming with you guys and yeah if you did enjoy this video make sure to give it a thumbs up so I can know if I should do these videos every time I do a haul maybe after and show you guys what I think of the products just like today's video and yeah that's pretty much all I have to say I hope that I enjoyed this video and until next time guys I'll see you guys soon and if you're not subscribed to my channel Brittany Raquel go ahead and hit my face right over here and subscribe to be a part of my beauty family until next time guys I'll see you guys soon bye